Hey guys, Shrek here. Welcome back to another video. Yes, it's been a while, but today, guys, I'm back with more videos coming this week, so make sure you stay tuned for those. But anyway, guys, today, I thought I would start off by doing a cool little color home designer makeover because i used to do the home makeovers i'll leave a link in description to one of them or the playlist to a bunch of the color makeover home like designs but today i thought actually doing it in the home designer would be pretty cool so we're gonna get a color wheel randomizer see what color we get and we're gonna try our best to do it so i'm here in the bohemian house we're gonna completely change it to just one color I'm so excited so let's see what the color is going to be Alrighty, Wheel of Colors. Let's see what is going to be. Let's spin it. It's going to be... <gasps> red? Red? Is that red? Yes. Oh my god, it was almost on pink. I would have liked to see pink. Pink's pretty cool. But let's go with red. Let's see what we got. Hopefully, we can do our best. Let's get straight into this. Also, guys, if you want to see more of these color home makeovers, just let me know. And we'll spin the wheel again. Get a new color. Make over that house. Anyway, let's go ahead and get straight into this red home makeover. All right, so starting off with this room here, I was just painting the walls to see what kind of red would fit what. I mean, there's not much red wallpaper, so I kind of went for a contrast between like dark and red for each room. But um, I'm starting off with this kind of nice bright red. And obviously there's no red couches or anything. There was honestly not a lot of red um, furniture or items for the home designer, but I, I eventually bring in a lot more um, red items later on, which actually makes the whole place a lot better. But anyway, I find this nice little cute little red plant right there um and obviously tv and stuff obviously it's gonna look kind of bland kind of like not reddish at the moment because there's not a lot of red furniture but eventually it will look better trust me um i think it turned out really good so hopefully you guys will like it at the end but anyway adding a shelf right here to add some nice decorations on later this nice rug as well kind of looked a little bit reddish so i added that i was looking through i added the watermelon pillow watermelon pillow and um there were, I was just like finding a trying to find a bunch of red items. There really wasn't a lot. So um, obviously for the default home designer, of course. But anyway, moving on to the bathroom, obviously a tub there and, um, you know, your average normal bathroom appliances like a toilet and a sink and a mirror, of course. Can't forget that mirror. And um, I was just looking through. I found a red toothbrush, which was kind of nice and a shelf, of course, to add more stuff later on. And, um, and then I changed the wallpaper in that as well. Also found this nice horse kind of painting. It was red on it. So I was like, mm, I like that. Um, I wanted to add the red, um, the pink rug, but obviously it's pink, not red. So honestly, pink would be great. Pink would be such a great color um, for like this kind of home designer challenge. But, um, you know, this is a challenge and hopefully I do good. <laughs> hopefully you guys can let me know down below. I was gonna add the painted floor, but I thought wood is honestly better. I don't like all of it being red. I feel like too much red is, you know, it's it, it's not the best. But anyway, the kitchen now, obviously I wanted to add a fridge and obviously kitchen counters and stove, you know, you need that stuff. So I added this huge fridge and at first I added those counters, but then I liked the shelves that I added on right here. And I think there was counters that matched it, so then I changed the counters for that. I think they look way better. I think that came with the Vacation Pool Villa house. Honestly, that house is the best. That is so good. I actually love it with the pool and everything. It is so cool. Also, I, there's like no red wallpapers, like like actual wallpapers. There's only just like the paintings, the paint. But they need to add more red wallpapers, like more colors. Come on, Tukwoka. <laughs> anyway, hopefully they'll add a lot more um, with the future houses. I'm so looking forward to that. But anyway, the table I added this like kind of bar table. And then I added the stools as well, like three little cute stools there as well. Looked really nice. Um, I think that was pretty much it. I added the stereo at the back there by the window and the plant and stuff. Um, and I think that was pretty much it. I added... Um, so, oh, I added the nice drinks that came with the Vacation Pool Villa on the table as well. Because they were red, of course. Strawberries. Looks so cute there as well. Obviously, I had, I had, I had a lot more, um, items later on. But, um, just the pan right there and stuff. And, um, oh yeah. I added some forks and knives into this kind of tub right here. Because why not? You can't forget your forks and your knives. So, put them there. The tomato ketchup, tomato, whatever you want to call it. Anyway, moving on to the kids' bedroom. I wanted to add this cute watermelon um, bed, of course. I wanted to kind of go for a watermelon theme, so that's what I eventually do at the end. Um, obviously, I went for the dark wood and the lighter wood in the kitchen. 
um and then i was just seeing what else i could add in here i added this thing it was kind of like a rug thing i mean does, is that red i mean i guess it is red i mean it has a little bit of red so i i kept it in there anyway because it looks cute i also added a nice kind of stand right there and then a shelves two shelves actually right there to add some stuff on looks very nice um a white rug um honestly not much stuff right now um, just kind of looking through. There was literally no red items. I guess the marbles, these were red. I mean, they're more orange, but oh well. I'm using them anyway. And then finally, the kind of adult's bedroom, you could call it. Now, I wanted to add the blue bed, um, but obviously it's blue. It's not really red. So I just kind of went for the standard white plain bed because we got to keep things kind of plain and then spruce all up with red later on. Then I added this. I don't think I've ever used that cupboard before. But yeah, two new paintings there um anything else i could add i was like kind of looking around i also added the swap the rugs and added that one because it was more red as well didn't really want to add another white rug because it was in the kids bedroom um also hanging plants i forgot to add that so i wanted to add a hanging plant and a watermelon cushion of course for the kids bedroom and then i didn't realize i didn't add like no lights so i went around in every room and added all the lights as well you know because we can't have a dark house but um, yeah, I think that was pretty much it. I just added, um, oh yeah, I wanted to see what I could add in between like the bed and the, cu um, the cupboard. So just kind of looking through, I added a pillow. And then of course, yes, that chair is pink and the pillow may be pink. But I mean, you could say it's like a really, really light red because I wanted to add as much furniture as I could as possible. But anyway, add a deck chair, um, a music thing and a table out on the balcony as well. And that was pretty much it for all of the furniture. I think it looked really good. But now, let's move on to adding all of the items and spruce it up and make it look amazing. Alright, so moving back over to the, you know, living room. We added this cool Japanese kind of Chinese lamp. It looks so good, kind of like for New Year's. A red controller and books. Added a book right there on the couch as well. I also kind of changed the, um, the living room quite a lot. So, um, I wanted to add a clock. I found this clock. It's so cute. I think I, it came out like the Valentine's Day or whatever kind of event thing. So, I added a hook there and added the cute heart clock because it's so cute and it's red so you know and um i was just looking else i wanted to add the kind of hammock right there because i think it looked really cute so yeah that's pretty nice um the bathroom kind of not a lot of items i just added the comb and you know face max and um you know red towels and that was pretty much it for the bathroom um the kitchen however i added a nice kind of bowl thing i guess um the coffee machine, plates and stuff. There was actually red plates finally. I was like looking for ages. Um, I know there's some in Robo Cafe, but I don't really like those plates in Robo Cafe. I think they they need to stay in Robo Cafe. But anyway, a bunch of foods there, fire hydrant on the fridge, and that was pretty much it for the kitchen. Um, the kids' bedroom, I added a bunch of stuff here. Nice red clothes. They were so cute. I love the red clothes in Tokyo Life. They're so cute. And um, obviously, like some sweets on the bed, some glasses right there. And then all of the kids' toys at the bottom here in the cupboard. So cute. So nice. Little house there as well. Oh, it's adorable. And I also decided to keep the basket as like a little play basket, like a storage thing. So that's nice. And finally, um, a bunch of stuff here. New red painting pillow. Um, I added like a camp thing there. Um, roses and in this cupboard I bunch added a bunch of like ornaments clothes and stuff for the adults because this is the adults bedroom I, I added that like nutcracker for Christmas as well it looks so cute and the watermelon candle I added back in the kids bedroom as well because it's nice and some roses at the top there so yeah the cupboard looks very nice very decorated and in the watermelon candle I just added in the kids bedroom right there very cute and that was finally it I think all of this looks so good so yeah, guys, this was my red designed home makeover. I hope you enjoyed. This red challenge was kind of hard. Hopefully more colors will be a lot easier. But um, yeah, I think that's pretty much it for today's video. If you liked it, please give it a big fat thumbs up. And if you loved it, subscribe. Thanks for watching, guys. And I'll see you all in the next video. Good bye.